first thing we're going to cover is the disassembly of the wet end of the Universal 2 PD pump. Use our 7 8 end wrench, remove cover nuts, no torque setting. Once your cover nuts are removed, you can remove the cover. Set the cover aside on a rubber mat or something soft, product side up. You're going to inspect your rotor tips, make sure there's no damage. Look for the timing of the rotors, make sure they're not contacting one another. Next, we will remove the rotor nuts. These are an acorn style nut with a Belleville washer, torqued to 250 foot pounds. You're going to want to use your impact wrench and the correct size socket. Remove your rotor nut, inspect your Belleville washer, make sure the cup side is down and you can rock the washer back and forth. If it is cracked, replace. Once your jam nuts are removed, you can remove the rotors, slide them straight off the shaft, catch your key, Inspect your rotor for damage, wing tips, and inside the hub. Set in the cover. Move the key if they stay on the shaft, set aside. Now we're going to break loose our body retaining bolts, quarter inch T handle Allen wrench, and remove the body. Remove the body by rocking back and forth. Slide straight off the dowel pins. Inspect your body, O-ring grooves for corrosion, signs of damage, product wear. Inspect all your seal components, remove them one at a time, and inspect your shafts. Inspect your shafts for corrosion in the O-ring area, where the rotor seats. Also inspect your keyway for damage. Make sure and reapply any anti-seize to any threads. We hope you enjoyed this pump training video. Additional videos and other helpful resources can be found on our website. Once again, I'm Kevin with F&H. Thank you for watching.